Hello everyone, today we have come to understand the ATTR I macro, the work must be defined I macro ATTR, to specifies the identifier for the selected element. Where is ATTR on the page? Position underlined in red, is the position that we're talking about. This is name of ATTR. And this is the value of ATTR. I macro V use two points for reference. For example, when you press the record button I macro and click this point on web page, I macro will generate this code. We can refer to ATTR more than one, for improve iMacro access to target point on the web page, with increasing signs and and between ATTR we use. The cases we found HTML non ATTR to refer, or ATTR duplicate in other lines of HTML, we can create our own ATTR by command JavaScript, or jQuery. See the example code in the video. This is the name of ATTR and value of ATTR. You can update code with the addition of asterisk for compatible with the values of ATTR available on the web page. But, if we have creating our own ATTR, we cannot reload the page until iMacro work in process finished, or passed in this step. <laughs> 